All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Raja. Raja, how yes. old are you? I'm 24 years old. And what do you do? I'm a law student. Okay, nice. Uh, what are some things I like do for fun? I love to travel. I like to journal. I like to walk my dog. And I like to just be really adventurous um, and have fun with my partner. Okay, nice. Um, speaking of partners, what are some things you look for in a man? Oh, they have to be honest, confident, um, really secure in themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, able to compromise, okay. and we have shared values and beliefs. Got mm. it, got it. Yes. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? If you don't like dogs, like, <laughs> my dog is my everything. So if you don't like dogs, let me know that now. Okay. <laughs> uh, what else? Someone who's a narcissist, mm. um, and somebody who's not a decision maker. They have other people make their decisions, such as their family, friends, somebody on the street. Like, I just need you to be a man got it yeah okay cool cool all like right that. so we don't have any balloons popped so i'm actually gonna switch on over to you and i'm gonna hand you a pick so <laughs> i gotta pause i'm cool with everything she said except for the dog y'all know i don't like dogs i dislike people who think they speak dog that's a deal breaker for me if me and you dating and you got a dog and you a little too close to your dog because i feel as though now don't don't crucify me. When women have pets, it's a replacement for a romantic partner. Now, I'm not saying you out here doing no freaky shit with your dog or nothing like that. <laughs> there you go. And I am going to have you pop. Hmm. Let's go with two balloons. Okay. Based off of what you're seeing, you know, who may not really be your type, whatever it is, go ahead and pop those two balloons. Okay. My boy with the Jordans is going. My boy with the fours is the first one to go. I knew it. Okay. One more. I knew it. Right, oh, yeah, I knew you was going, here. too. Name and age? John, I'm 31. Okay, and now, John, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why so? She's beautiful. I'm not shallow, so I wanted to hear what she was talking about. You feel me? But, I mean, she's a nice little young, young woman, so I approach her. Okay, got it. <laughs> and now, why you ended up popping his balloon? Um, you see, your name's John? Yeah. He too well, hood. John, you look really nice. Um, just there wasn't, like, an initial... Attraction, I would say. He too hood. But you seem sweet, so. Respect it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then we did pop one more. Let's head on over here. Your name and age. How are you doing? My name is Nazi. I'm 25 years old. Okay. And Nazi, why did you have your balloon unpopped? You're very pretty. I like the dress. You know, orange is a nice color on you. Thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to hear you. I get to know you better. Okay. Got it. Got it. Now, why do we end up popping his? Well, I would say the same thing. Like, you do look nice. Um really friendly just there wasn't like initial attraction again okay. but you seem fine <laughs> i knew she was gonna pop homie with with the fitted i knew she was gonna pop his balloon pause simply because you he too hood i feel as though she's looking for somebody she's looking for a young professional right and he definitely does not fit the young professional yeah all right cool Thank really you. respectable. <laughs> okay, next round, I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these guys a question just to help you narrow it down. Okay, so guys, how should the roles and responsibilities be shared in a household? Oh, I like her. Okay, let's start with your name and age, and how should the roles be shared? Oh, my name is Dante, I'm 25. Uh, the roles in the household, uh, I grew up in a traditional household, so dad works and stuff like that, grinds out, makes sure the home is taken care of, the kids are taken care of and stuff like that. Mom does what she's great at, which is nurturing and stuff like that, you feel me? Taking mm -hmm. care of, making sure when I come home, everybody's taking care of my kids and stuff like that, making sure she's good. I gotta make sure, hey, if something's not right, yo, let me go take care of that and stuff like that and bring it back home. But I'm very traditional, very, extremely, actually. <sighs> I don't think she's going to go for that. The reason why I don't think she's going to go for that, she's a career woman. You basically saying, traditionally, her career needs to be put on hold. That's what I'm getting from this, you know? And there's nothing wrong with his answer because there's women out here that would love that. Yeah, hell yeah, I stay home with the kids. As long as you taking care of the household, I do not mind staying home with the kids. Now, you got to remember what she said when she came out. She's in law school. She's aspiring to have a career. I feel as though he next. Okay. Name and age and the answer to her question. My name's Ryan. I'm 26. I take that back. The light-skinned nigga's going. I'll echo that. I'm very traditional as well. So 
as the man, I would be taking the stereotypical man role where being the breadwinner. And if there's something wrong with the lawnmower, that's on me. Um, it's not on you. Uh, I'm carrying in all the groceries, like stuff like that. And then again, assuming we had a family, I would want my wife to be the one leading the uh, nurturing of the children and educating them and stuff like that. And hopefully she can cook as well. That would be a great bonus because I cannot cook for shit. <laughs> Light skin is up out of here. All right. Him and son right here is gone. Chris, 27. They gone. And I'll say I grew up in a single mom household, so I'm still learning as I go within my, all the relationships I've been through. So, yeah, I usually do take on a more traditional role, like take care of, you know, if she's staying with me, take care of the bills, taking care of the, the manly stuff, like you said, like all the... Like the Changing the tire, taking out the trash, all of that. But as far as, like, monetarily, like, I grew up seeing my mom do it all. You know, so I need another woman that can... She doesn't have to do it all, but she had to be able to do something, you know? Hmm. I do like a little Miss Independent. A little bit. That's a good answer. That's an answer that she liked. All right. That's an answer. Answer your question. I'm Trey, 25. Ooh, somebody uh, popped the balloon? I've seen both done uh, effectively in terms of both partners working and one partner uh, I had a stay-at-home mom later in my life. So I really believe in what does the home need? Like, mm -hmm. that's between the two people to understand. Like, you, for example, you're in law school. That's a very high-paying job. It'd be, it'd be crazy of me to ask you to, to sacrifice that entirely. Woo! Not chase after this dream. Because law school is that's high school, college, and some old school, some old school. <laughs> and so I believe in understanding, like, hey, tonight might not be a... Uh, a unite to wash dishes tonight might not be a a, a unite to, to to set up everything for the kids because uh, I'll, I'll be honest i can change a tire i have triple a and it works though <laughs> Woo! i'd rather not now if it's hot me and phoenix like i if need be but my triple a works mm -hmm. uh but yeah i believe in i believe in modernity and i believe mm. in progressing those roles they don't have to be static like they were in the past okay that's good. And then we did get a pop. Mm -hmm. Let's head down over here. Who popped the your balloon? Your name, age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Yeah, I'm Key, 28. Uh, I pop just because, uh, you know, she's a law student. Uh, that's a lot of time. You know, I'm, I'm a business owner. Mm -hmm. And so you've been a law student. Like, my time is limited. Your time is going to be limited. That's a lot of school and everything. Trying to build a family and whatnot. Uh, and then also, I mean, you're a pretty woman. Mm -hmm. Just not really, uh, just not too attractive. But, mm -hmm. I mean, you don't look bad at all. <laughs> Cat. And then we had another pop. Cap, let me tell y'all why these niggas... He pop and old boy pop because they know they wasn't going to make it to the third round. They knew they wasn't going to make it to the third round. I don't want to hear it. I do not want to hear it, dog. Nope. No, is he someone that's your type? Um, you look decent, but... Ooh, let him have it. I mean, like, you're decent, like... Okay. Let, let him have it. Um, let him have it. All right. <laughs> yeah, you're decent. Okay. Cool, cool. It's all good. Thank you. Bro, once a female get rejected, the devil starts showing his horns. That's probably how she really felt. Maybe she was really being nice. <laughs> okay, and we did get a pop back what you pop here. For? Why did we end up popping? What you pop so, for? if we look in long term, you know, building mm -hmm. a family, I'm a little taller. You know, nothing gets the short queens. I love the short queens. <laughs> But she just look like you're like five foot, maybe so like it's a little, you know. So I like I'm like a little taller, a five six, five eight. Got it, got it. <laughs> now is he someone that's your type? Um, you look fine, but like for a partner, I'm looking for someone more like professional, more dapper, professional. Dapper. Mm -mm. Okay, got it. Yeah. Uh, I'll be putting it on. I ain't gonna lie, like. <laughs> <laughs> Wear suits, that is, you know? It's cool, though. Okay, got it. Right. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we do have two. Am I going to have to defend the short queens also? This is a first. Now, I've been asking for this. You tall niggas that be coming down here taking on our short women. But I've never heard a short queen being discriminated against by one of you giraffe ass. I don't know how to feel about that. You know what, though? My short kings, that's more for us. Who left, guys? Oh, I'm sorry, three. You keep hiding that balloon. <laughs> All right, so we have three left. Uh, go ahead and ask these guys another question. Okay. Light skin is gone. What are some qualities that you look for in a partner? Okay. What are some qualities you look for? Uh, number one is major is respect. 
um, I don't care really about the love and everything. Respect comes with honesty, communication, everything else and stuff like that. If you're going to respect me, you're going to do what's right at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So at first and then, just like rappers say, I don't want love, loyalty, da da. I want respect. You feel me? And I grew up on that. Respect my father. Respect my coaches. Respect the pastors and shit. Respect the homeless people when I go to get stuff out for community service and shit like that. You feel me? It's just a different thing. Growing up, like I used to be look big and shit like that. People didn't respect me. You know what I'm saying? Like uh-huh. overlook me and shit like. So it's something deeper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. It's still my answer. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You. You just. Exposed your childhood trauma. You did a little too much talking. You should have just kept this short. What you said about the love part and, and how you put respect over love, that was it right there. Once you got into the, I was bigger when I was a child and they didn't respect me. And that that shows that you probably going to be on some book if, if she get in a relationship with you. Respect first, but I'll, I'll add to that. I also think someone who's peaceful i'm looking just for someone who can be my peace because i go through stressful situations and i've got my own stuff going on so having a woman do what she does best which is be like that peaceful feminine energy Mm -hmm. that's what i care most about let's head on over here name and age no just answer the question should have got your name my boyfriend make make a show uh (laughs) come on brother I believe versatility, ambition, mm. and empathy are, are really important for a partner because I don't, I was talking about modernity earlier, I don't believe in one thing. I don't believe in like a, a single track mind. I don't believe in somebody not wanting to venture out and be broad and trying to mm. your adventure. So that's already, yeah. that's already a check. But mm. along with that, I need somebody that loves God. And not just like, oh, God is cool, woody, woody, woody. But what's your sign? No, I need somebody that, that loves God for real, for real. And so if you don't have that, Go ahead. Yeah. But all three, all four of those things. Yeah, I'm a believer. So. Amen. Come on, yes. y'all. You buy. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay, it is time to pop a balloon. What the hell is that? Come on. No, oh. let's go ahead and pop. <laughs> Light skin and swole is going. Swole? Okay, we're going to pop in his. Well, you have muscles. Yeah, yeah. It looks like it worked out. I appreciate um, you. What happened? Do you typically, like, wear this attire, or...? Uh, genuinely, so I'm from Michigan. I'm a country boy. You know what I'm saying? So, Roy, so I want to go back to the country and shit. But I dab her down like everybody else and shit, but I don't care about society's norms. I look good. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to wear what I'm going to wear. Yeah. You feel me? Okay, that was really... I just had a... Pop some of the other... Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like your answer, though. <laughs> Is she someone that's your type? Uh, yes, for sure, hundred percent. You feel me? Like I, on a little bit, I wanted to hear her out, what she's really going to say and stuff like that. And, you know, see how good she's going to articulate uh, her answers and stuff like that. You see the death in it and stuff like that. But she's did well, did very well. Cool. Thank you. All right. So our two remaining guys. Any questions for our good lady? Yes. Um, what is? Oh, her... she's asking. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Oh, it's okay. You can ask. <laughs> <laughs> you were ready. Oh. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Well, I was going to ask for you guys' occupations. Okay. Who? Occupations. Um, I own two different media companies, so making YouTube videos and stuff like that is really the main gig. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. And then okay. while we're here, any questions for her? I was going to ask, what do you think your life's purpose is? My life's purpose. Well, I would say because I'm in law school, I went to law school because I want to help disadvantaged communities and just get them out of the situations that they're in. For instance, instance, I do want to go into criminal law and be a prosecutor or a defender, um, especially within my community in the Cleveland neighborhood. So I just really want to give back. Are you, is that where you live, Cleveland? Or Yes, I'm from Cleveland. Okay. Yes, I have that Indians. Uh, uh, but I'm still gonna fight. Um, I, I gotta pop it. Sorry. Um, cause it's too far for me. Yeah. Where are you from? I live in LA. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. Let's head on over here. And then what was what, what? Wait, what? I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting this. This is new development for me. Um, and then on top of that, my boy, 
you got to sell yourself better. I, if that was me, I would have said, I run a media company. I partner up with different YouTube channels. We help promote them. Uh, currently, our revenue is about $2.5 million. I'd have had to throw that in there. Because you can't just be like, oh, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. Nah, bro. You got to throw some revenue in there. They want to hear that you getting paper. Then you pop. I ain't gonna lie. If I go to this show, I'm I'm trying to win because I'm trying to get some cheeks. I'm just keeping it a hundred. I'm trying to get some cheeks. What do you do? And then if you have any questions for her, got you. Uh, I'm a development project manager at a tech company Woo! right now. Go ahead, boy. And question I have for you, I was gonna ask something similar to purpose, mm -hmm. but what is something that your friends would say two years ago you struggled with, but you've made significant Woo! growth in today? Wow. Mm. I would question. say that they would say that I struggle with like moving on from situations that no longer serve me. So I feel like I really developed from that today. Okay. Um, okay. Just being able to put the past behind me, look towards the future, know that there's better things happening, better things to come for me. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they would really respect that. Like she's able to boss up, move on and be a better person. All right, let me have you. Come on up, come on up. Let's walk back over here, y'all. Come on. <laughs> look, look at the swag. Right, look at the swag. So, any final questions between the two of you before we determine if this is a match? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, mm. just and keep it a bill. Mm. Am I fine to you? Okay. Like, like fine. <laughs> like I, like I'm going. I'm walking into your church and and your 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 deaconesses looking at. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I think you are attractive, for sure. Um, I like your outfit. I like the way that you carried yourself. Thank you. Um, I like that you listened to my answers. Of course. Um, you're a great listener. Um, but you said, like, fine. Like, I spot yeah. you out, and I'm like, ooh, I want him. Yeah. Not necessarily, but, you know, my types do change when I look at the person's personality and how they present themselves, but... But you say you still find him attractive. Yes, he's attractive. Yeah. Why are you looking at me like that? Because <laughs> you looking for a reason to pop. <laughs> nah. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for a middle part now. I ain't gonna lie to you. Ooh, yeah, fuck with this nigga. All right, let's go. Good. All right. Let's, so, let's then, get right. Being said, is it gonna be a yes for you for her? Yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, Lord. And is it a yes for you for him? You said, oh, no, I was. Is it a yes for you for him? Okay, what's what happened? What he ended well, up popping? I just feel like maybe for me it wasn't like an immediate yes, and I feel like we're in a relationship. You need that like immediate like what? Yeah, like, I want him. Like oh let's my go. god! Like, yeah, I just the environment. I mean, maybe it could progress to that, but not oh like, my god! Like, this environment is made for like stuff yeah, like that. Exactly. I just want you to be sure that this is something that like oh my you're not going go home two weeks later and go back home and be like, he not really even that cute. Like, yeah. I don't, that's not for Trey. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. You can head back over there. All right. Well, that is all the popped balloons. But we do thank you for coming on. I'll take this mic. And let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. <laughs> man's put, uh -huh. man's put, man, yo, I'm with him, dog. I'm with him. I can't believe I need a moment. I, I need a moment. I need a moment. I need a moment. I cannot believe her. I can't believe her. I thought reacting to those 20 second clips was frustrating enough. But to sit there and watch the whole interaction, watch the whole build up, and see how it ends, it's even worse. But this is a perfect example. Some of you ladies will have the perfect candidate in your face and find a reason. Y'all would find a reason. She honestly didn't have a reason. The reason she gave was not valid. I'm sorry. It's not valid. As a person who's married, as a person who have friends that are married, a lot of times you don't fall in love with your type.
are relationships that you were not expecting to be in. Perfect example. I was not expecting to be with that woman upstairs. We literally used to be on the we used to be on the phone every day, but I used to call her to talk about other girls. I used to call her to vent to her about other girls, bro. I used to be trying to I used to be trying to hook her up with my best friend. I'll be on the phone with her like, yo, why you playing with my man's? My man's trying to holler at you like you playing games. Over time, it just developed into something else. And look, we've been, bro, we've been together for a long time. We had some ups and downs, but I wasn't expecting that. I'm not her type. Yeah, I'm five six. She like this like six, six. She like them. She like them tall motherfuckers. I'm, I'm gonna keep it hundred with you. She like, she like them type. That, those that's her type. When we used to talk on the phone, that was her type. Look who she with. Look who busting them cheeks open. Exactly. <laughs>